This week marks a highly significant event for Tesla as it conducts its yearly shareholders meeting. In today's video, we will delve into these extraordinary revelations and provide further essential updates from the meeting. So, if you don't want to miss any of these details, watch this video till the end. Insights from the Shareholders Meeting and Investor Outlook Let's look into Tesla's future and how it will unfold, which we guarantee will be both unexpected and exciting. You'll be happy to hear that yesterday's Tesla Shareholders Meeting provided more insightful information. The conference has significantly increased investor optimism and confidence. Tesla's stock price experienced a remarkable increase of 4.41% yesterday. As this is the shareholders' meeting, let's discuss investments. Musk expressed his pessimism regarding the future of the global economy during the session. He went so far as to foresee many business failures in the coming year. This regrettable circumstance has become increasingly prevalent in the United States in the recent months. Economic Turmoil and Investor Concerns By the end of April, notable entities including Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic Bank, and even retail Colossus Bed Bath & Beyond had filed for bankruptcy. The number of corporate insolvencies in the United States reached a three-year peak in March, according to the Wall Street Journal. Musk's sentiments echoed those of renowned investor Warren Buffet, even though he did not specify which companies are at risk. Buffet discussed profitability challenges in the electric vehicle industry and expressed skepticism regarding the capacity of electric vehicle companies to generate profits at Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting on May 6. This could pose additional challenges to the survival of certain electric vehicle startup companies. Shifting Sales Outlook and Challenges Let me illustrate you with some examples. Several industry businesses have lowered their sales expectations, signaling a decline. Polister reduced their sales aim from 80,000 to 65,000 automobiles this year. In May, Fisker and Lucid reduced production capacity projections. Lucid also has a booth at Tesla's supercharger station for Tesla owners to test drive their Lucid Air. They only sold 1,400 units in the first quarter of this year. They lost roughly $780 million during the quarter. Their cash-burning tactic may only last for a while. Rivian appears better off. Despite keeping their production targets the same, they sell almost $75,000 for each vehicle at a loss. Many startups follow this path. Tesla only became profitable from electric cars two years ago. Thus, these startups confront substantial challenges in the current economic climate. Tesla's Model Y aims to outshine Toyota's Corolla now let's face a more significant challenge and shift our focus back to Tesla. According to Musk, the Model Y could surpass Toyota's Corolla and become the best-selling car globally this year. If this achievement comes to fruition, it would be truly remarkable considering the Model Y's price, which is nearly double that of the Corolla. Musk's confidence in Tesla's ability to navigate adverse economic conditions stems from its strong performance and profit margin even after implementing significant price reductions recently. We share Musk's belief that Tesla possesses the resilience to overcome challenges during tough times. In fact, this is precisely why we emphasize the importance of investing, especially when faced with challenging economic periods. Musk's Surprising Announcements and Promising Prospects Musk addressed the shareholders and revealed some significant plans for Tesla's future. He stunned the audience by announcing the shapes of two unreleased automobile models, and he predicted that the Model Y would become the best-selling car in the world. The visual presentation made a profound impact on the viewers. Musk didn't go into detail about these cars, but he did say they might help reach the 5 million annual vehicle manufacturing goal. Investors are starting to speculate that one model is a little electric car and the other is a utility vehicle. Even if Tesla managed to capture a small percentage of the roughly 20 million units sold annually across these vehicle segments, they would be well on their way to meeting Musk's projected manufacturing goal. This is a promising future possibility for Tesla. Tesla's Roadster release delayed to 2024 as company shifts focus to mainstream market. Musk revealed that the long-awaited Roadster sports car would not be available until 2024. His use of the word 
Hopefully, in this context indicates that there may be future setbacks to the strategy. However, no one should be shocked by this development. There has been a noticeable shift in Tesla's approach, with the company now aiming for the mainstream market. A few days ago, to emphasize their commitment to high sales volume and the widespread adoption of electric vehicles, they decided to seize the manufacture of right-hand drive variants of the Model S and Model X. It's clear that unlike in their early days, when they focused primarily on the luxury market, Tesla now has the adoption of electric vehicles as their top objective. This new course of action is consistent with Musk's long-term vision. Production, Demand, and Pricing Outlook Let's explore the Cybertruck, an actual vehicle that followed the Model Y. Musk presented Cybertruck production capacity figures that were lower than expected. He described the production plan as an S-shaped curve, starting low and rising steadily as they watch demand and adjust. Musk estimated 250,000 annual units, which may be exceeded. He also predicted 250,000 to 500,000 yearly sales. However, he hinted that Cybertruck cost-effectiveness might increase the price. Depending on the model, Tesla no longer charges $40,000 to $80,000 for early bookings. Tesla has received 1.5 million Cybertruck pre-orders with a $100 refundable deposit. Thus, if prices rise significantly, many may cancel their reservations. Tesla will presumably launch the more premium Cybertruck variants first. Therefore, you'll need $100,000 to buy the car in a year. Unlocking Tesla's Profit Potential Musk wants Tesla to sell more cars to the public. How can Tesla out-profit Toyota on equivalent cars? Musk said a new car's manufacturer markup is 20% to 25%. With full self-driving, profit margins can exceed 80%. Since it's software-based and dependent on autonomous driving, we don't think this notion is far-fetched. How many consumers will spend a lot on a still-developing, fully independent driving system is unknown. We're unsure. We've consistently underlined the importance of Tesla investors believing in total self-driving's long-term viability. We write about my full self-driving experience to help others decide it's right for them. Musk also mentioned that Tesla's full self-driving technology uses Optimus Prime's algorithm. The humanoid robot has improved since last year's AI Day. These robots walk and gesture slowly in videos. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the incredible updates of Tesla models. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech Bros for more content such as this.